Well, what I have now is I've coated it with, uh, after it dried, I have coated it with a, uh, a mixture of uh, mineral spirits and uh, a, a true oil finish from Birchwood, Birchwood Casey. And as you can see uh, here, it uh, it is all set, all ready to go, just drying right now. And one thing I want you to notice is if you can get here close enough, I'm trying to get into those acorns. See if you can see that the uh, texture, most the texture that's there, it also held a little bit of more, a uh, little bit more of the actual uh, stain. So it got slightly darker, but it does show. So bring it back a little bit, and you can see that that is uh, just a little carving just below the cheek piece and uh, there's the enti entire part there I'll see if I can get a little more light on it and you can see it but uh, it's all done and now I have the stock completely done I have everything down on this end rolls over as I showed you before and coming back on this side you can see on this side I have those other leaves so the leaves on all sides so I hope you enjoyed just a little bit of a look on how uh, to do a one style leaf there's many different ways you can do leaves uh, this just happens to be one style that's uh, uh, looks quite nice with an oak leaf. There's other things you can do that puts a lot more veins in, a different shapes. Certainly, you can use any type of uh, uh, any type of leaf you want. I've done anything from maple leaves to aspen leaves. It really depends on what you like, but certainly is something that you can do all you want. Uh, it's a great way to practice carving, is uh, to do these type of leaves. So, if it's something you want to try. Please take some time with it. Experiment. Don't just do it this style. Try something different and you'll find that you probably will really enjoy it. Thanks and you have a great day. Thanks for stopping by.